There he is. Got him. A lot of times in my experience, I've learned that it's better to just run at someone and shoot. What was... Sometimes that'll, uh, that'll give you victory like this. There you go. Nice random headshot there. This is going much easier. This is probably going easier because not only have I played the game, obviously, before, but I have some better weapons in my disposal. So we'll go ahead and plant some more C4 or whatever the fuck. He's playing the Mario song again. The dish is taken care of. I like how everything is just talking over. It's like everything, I guess. I don't know. Okay, this is actually probably not good. Anyway, yeah, everything was just kind of talking over itself. The uh, the announcement, the the on-screen announcement. There you go, have that, whatever that shit is. I, it was an EMP, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, it was an EMP. Yeah, the prisoner's still at large. He's killing all of your men, and he's not snatching any people up just yet. But he might. You never know. Alright, you're not going... Oh, oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. I just like the sound keeps going off. I keep peeking out. We're not the only badass on the airfield, apparently. The prisoner has had extensive combat training. He is armed and extremely dangerous. Oh, no kidding. You don't say. Alright, it's time to get the fuck out of there. Whoop. I like how you can just keep doing, like, slidey slides all over the place. Look at, look at this. You just slide. It's like... Aw, oh, damn it. Got next to some stupid wall, though. Being next to a stupid wall is not going to help my... My case out. Here we go. Look, you just keep, like, sliding everywhere. Do little, little tiny slips. Sam, bad news. Damn it! Fine, but I have to push back the call I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. Stop playing games. Also, this uh, little cutscene is gonna go into the time when you're gonna get caught by more guys. Stupid pistol! Go EMP grenade. Yeah, it actually helps a little bit. All right. Oh, someone, someone has a shotgun down there. I'm, I'm a little afraid of my life here. For my life, I should say. I'm not afraid of my life. I'm afraid for my life. I'm, like, completely out of ammo. Aside from this little pistol, which coincidentally has infinite ammo. Probably, I probably should switch, uh... Get rid of a light. Uh, yay! I got rid of a light. Uh, let me pick up this gun. I picked up a gun... That doesn't have a silencer again. Oh, fuck it. Let me bust this shit open. Oh, it's locked, really? It locked the door on me. Oh, who's this guy? Look at him. Ah, I can jump right up here. Yeah, camp the door. There's a window right here, smartass. Wow, what a dumb. There's no point of entrance in this building other than this door. Right? Wrong. Well, Sam's not the best typer. He's, he's much better at killing people than typing at them. Also, whatever that is, it's done. Let's get the hell out of here. We're good to go. Look at that cutscene. Look at that Dukes of Hazards. Paladin 9 Security, Victor Cost speaking. Vic, it's Sam. I'm in town and could use a little help. Uh, if you're asking for help, we better do this face to face. And what the hell's going on back there? Some explosions. Like recognize the sound. Remind you of anything? Yeah. Iraq. And for no real What's reason, that? we get a flashback to How's Iraq. Little girl? She's doing fine. I got a picture from her in the mail. I think her mom helped her draw. Nice. My kids don't draw me pictures or write or anything. That's kind of no, sad. Right, cause you can't read, man. <laughs> Lock it up. But when I get out of here, hey, you're going to kindergarten. You know, I hear they got entrance exams at kindergarten now, Sam. I don't know if Vic's gonna make it in. <laughs> and the wise ass just got blown up. That was a damn good shot. I kind of feel bad. That'd probably be me, the wise-ass, sarcastic guy, just, you know, saying stupid shit. So I'm basically dead in this game. I'm always the first one to die. 
Wow, cool AK. Sam trusted me because of what we've been through together in the Gulf. That's why he called me after Third Echelon did their little number on him. He needed someone to watch his back. I was the only one who could. So we got uh, mortared or some sort of grenade or car bomb or bomb or some explosive thing. Sam's been captured and we get to play as the other guy in this little flashback. Which is going back to... I don't, I don't remember what year Splinter Cell takes place in. So I'm not, I'm imagining that it's the, uh, the Gulf War. I'm imagining the war in the 90s and not the, uh, the more recent one. That was completely and utterly pointless, but I digress. Spotsky, this is Wofford Base. We've got a UAV showing two men down and your squad leader missing and presumed KIA. Find cover and hold your position. We'll come get you. I don't, I don't know if I want to hold my position. I have a, like, it's like an ACOG scope or something. Obviously, I don't read you if I'm walking around killing people. Or I'm just ignoring you. It's probably the ignore thing. It's always the best thing to do to your commanding officer or whoever the hell is on the, uh, the other end of the radio just now. Let's see if I can hit this guy. This game kind of reminds me of one that was, uh... Not too good. I don't... Oh, whoops. I didn't even realize I had a frag. I'm still trying to hit, like, X to reload. I can't even remember what the name of the game was, but I believe it had a sequel. Pretty sure it did. And it was kind of like a squad-based shooter in Iraq. So I'm pretty sure it was in Iraq. It wasn't that good of a game, to be completely honest. It was kind of poopy. That's just kind of what it reminds me of right now. Even though this game is leagues better than that game, from what I remember of it. Still, I guess just the setting and whatnot. I think the game was on PS2, maybe. I don't think it was a it was a new game. I think it was a little bit of an older, older game. That guy kind of looks like a civilian, but we know he's not. Look at all these guys over here. Holy shit! There's quite a few of them. If only they were closer, and I knew how far this frag would go. Whatever. Frag out. Not sure if that's going to kill... Oh, oh, I think I got somebody. I think I got somebody anyway. At least one person. Works for me. I enjoy a good frag out, right? I think most people do at this point. Most people enjoy a good... A good fragging out. So this one man, in all of his special experience, is going to march down the Highway of Death, or whatever it was called. I'd rather call it the Highway of Doom and Gloom, just because there's a rhyme in there. There's also really no running in this. This is about as fast as he runs. But whatever. The Highway of Doom and Gloom. And he's just going to apparently kill everyone and try and get Sam back. Which is good, because if he would have never done any of this, then Sam... I mean, there would have been no Splinter Cell games, obviously. Or it just ne never would have been written in the story. And that's probably more uh, accurate. That is more of an accurate guess as to what would have happened. Do I have any frags anymore? No, I don't. All right. Nice cover, man. You know, it's good to actually get behind the cover and not sit by the cover. So you can actually get, you know, some protection. Hey, look. This place looks a lot like Detroit, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Robocop pop out and try and fight some crime. Will he do a good job? Probably not. It's Detroit. No, I don't think anything can help Detroit. Not even Jensen could help Detroit. Even though Detroit looked pretty alright... It actually looked better in Deus Ex than it did anywhere else. Alright, I'll take cover behind this uh, craftsman toolbox. How the fuck not? Got no... Uh, where's... It's probably someone to my left over here. Craftsman tools. Who... Yeah, I hear... Oh, there he is. There he, there he blows. Who would have known craftsman tools would have made such good cover? Still no, Still no frags. Good thing I have, like, infinite ammo for this assault rifle. Unfortunately, no frags. Can't frag out. He was still shooting at where I was. What a dummy. What a, what a big, fat dummy. I'll just go behind him, then. They won't know. They, they don't know how to hear, apparently. Where the hell did he go? He's over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. Dude, 